Okay, I'm here in 3ds Max. We're going to take a look at constraints. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I've made this little animation of a box coming down. And it's going to pick up the ball. And I'm going to have it drop the ball. So with this, we're going to have it constrained to the world. And then have the ball constrained to the box. So again, I just animated this uh, box along the timeline. And now we're going to go and add a constraint to the ball. So I'm going to click on the ball, go into my Create menu, and then we're going to go into uh, the Motion tab. So in the Motion tab, we have the transform position for the ball. And let's see if I can get this a little wider. I don't think I can. So here it says Transform, Position, Rotation, and Scale. Um, and we can pick one of these under, but I'm just going to pick the transform. When we do that under Assign Controller, you get this little check mark. When you click on that, it gives you different controllers that you can assign. And the one we're going to do is a link constraint. So when I click on Link Constraint, OK, it gives me this parameter to link. So I can add a link, or I can link to the world. So in the beginning, I have the ball not linked to the box, and then at frame 15, it links to the box. So I'm going to pick to link to world at frame 0. Now I'm going to come forward, and the frame before it goes to the box, I'm going to link to the world again. I just find this to work a little bit better. And then click um, add link and pick the box on frame 15 and now you'll see it follows the box so at frame I'm gonna say about frame uh, we want it to kind of kick it off so I'm gonna say about frame 68 I want it to be linked to the box again And then the next frame, we're going to link to the world. And now you'll see it takes off. So I'm just going to animate the ball dropping at that point. So I'll just say it's thrown down. And it should hit the ground about here. So I'm just going to add a keyframe. Click on the ball. And animate it down. So we want to come up here. And reset that offset. So now it kicks the ball free and it falls. And I can fix that timing. And then I can animate and keyframe the ball doing a little bounce or whatever I want. But that's how you would set up a link constraint to link to world and then link to an object.